My pulse raced at the astounding accomplishments of the mercenary known as Demon Lord. I forgot about my job and read everything I had on hand. Around the time Demon Lord received his nickname, South Belka showed signs of weariness regarding the war. Because the region was set up as a defense line to protect the birthplace of Belka in the north, the people's dissatisfaction had reached a climax. The cities declared themselves demilitarized and peacefully surrendered to the Allied forces. Unable to establish a defensive position, the Belkan army kept retreating to the north. The end of the war was fast approaching. I was given an opportunity to interview the former aces of the Belkin Air Force. Back then, they were the masters of the sky, and they had also known him. So I crossed the border to follow his trail. I wanted to capture the war and the demon lord from their point of view, to capture the voices of those who were there. Bernard Schmidt, a man with the eyes of an owl. Groom Team Commander, former member of the Belkin Air Force. 10th Air Division, 8th Tactical Fighter Squadron. Fighting with distinguished service on the battlefield, he earned the title of Ace with his uncanny ability to adapt quickly to the flow of battle. Oh, I had a bad feeling while I was flying towards the round table. Why were they having problems down in two mercenaries? I figured it was just temporary chaos and it'd be over by the time I got there. Pilots of the Belkin Air Force are true professionals, but when I saw the situation, I couldn't believe my eyes. I thought maybe my IFF was malfunctioning. There were still two enemies on the radar. Everyone else in my squadron had the same reaction. This is really happening. Every now and then, guys like that appear on a battlefield. Someone special, you know? I squint in my eyes and confirm the situation. Check the terrain, air currents, his plane, his maneuvers, and his remaining ammo. I figured I could do it. I knew what I was getting into, but he still outmaneuvered me beyond my expectation. Gelb Team is number two, former member of the Belkin Air Force. Fifth Air Division, 23rd Tactical Fighter Squadron. Rainer Altman. He flew the skies of Directus during the capital's liberation. And he's still there to this day. I met him above this very sky. I can still hear the sound of the missile alerts from that day. I received an order to fly to Directus on my way back from an intercept mission on the southern defense line. The order itself wasn't unusual. We kept being deployed from one mission to the next without receiving even the basic maintenance. But the situation was the same all around. We were late reaching the operational space. The station squadrons had already retreated and warning bells were going off in the city. And the people were looking up to his plane, high above the sky. It felt like he could see right through me. He was always one step ahead of me. He matched every combat maneuver I made until I used up every trick in the book. Schnee Team Commander, former member of the Belkin Air Force, 22nd Air Division, 4th Tactical Fighter Squadron, Eric Hillenbrand. He never had great ambitions. All he ever hoped for was to make a living as a regular pilot. Today he works as a flight instructor for civilian pilots. The instant he shot me, I pulled the lever. I barely managed to escape from my plane as it burst into flames. After drifting from the blast, I landed below the round table. It was a wide open, barren wasteland. How long would I have to wait for a rescue party? Radio interference within the round table was fierce. 
The odds of a distress signal actually reaching anyone was low. I was at a loss for what to do. Anyway, I'd really gone out with a bang this time. I took that as a sign it was time for me to retire. But just then, I heard a roaring overhead. It was his plane. I was jealous of his calm flying form. Rather than wait for the rescue team, I began to walk toward the nearest base. I was driven by desire to get back up there and fight him again. Of course, it did take me three days to get there. Every time I flew with him, his skill stood out. He was unstoppable. He would ascertain the situation in an instant and change the tide of battle. He was born for combat. It was no wonder they called him a demon lord. That said, it was hell trying to keep up with him. Before long, everyone had taken notice of him. More and more would show up to watch him go off on sortie. Mercenaries or maintenance crew, it didn't matter. People wanted to burn his image to their memories. Hell, they weren't the only ones. The Belkin forces are beginning to take flight. The industrial city of Hoffna is crucial to the enemy's industrial strategy and the heart of its war productions. The Allied forces have decided that all Belkin war production must be stopped to expedite the end of the war and has requested our participation in this operation. The operation will primarily involve the bombing of ground facilities by the Allied forces bombers. Your mission is to support those bombers and attack enemy facilities. We have achieved near total air supremacy over the target area, but don't let your guard down. There may still be sporadic resistance.
Pursued by Allied forces, the Belkin forces have taken flight, abandoning Hoffner. Without military production capabilities, Belka is in a bind. We were also able to confiscate samples of what seemed to be experimental weapons from the abandoned war factories, before Belka had time to use them. Thank you. 